Hey ladies and gents, welcome to the first look of the new Dacia Stepway. We are at Paris Auto Show taking a first look at the new redesigned badge of the Stepway. So coming a little bit closer to check the new badge, you can see the new B and C or like it looks like an X. Uh, it's actually the BC as a Dacia. Uh, they decided to put a white badge to stand out. They have this white strike top of the grill and extending through the same headlights but they replaced the chrome with the white pieces and you have the daytime running lights to uh, sort of pronounce them more. You have the air intake on the top and at the bottom you have the radar now for safety. Fog lights uh, are halogen bulbs same as this one. These are LED so combo of both. Uh, this is the new khaki green color it's non-metallic um, some people are gonna like it, some are gonna dislike it. Have some unpainted plastic black and gray finish. We're going light off-roading on the stepway. Now the car looks quite nice. So we'll walk around here. So this is a really cool car if you're going off-roading. And you can see the arches are also protected and the skirt at the bottom. Looking at the alloys, we have 16 inch alloys, diamond cut, silver on black with a new badge. These are 205-60 R16, came on Hancock tires. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And here we have uh, uh, it's like a matte finish, metallic gray, a light and rain sensor. On the top we have this bulky plastic or metal in the middle. We have, have actually a uh, little sunroof there and a stepway and these are cut off at the end. Shark fin antenna in black. By backup you can see the whole car profile. They also added this black film to give you a little extra protection there. Side mirror you have a blind spot warning there you can see it. No tint is on the rear windows. That'd be cool if they added that. And not sure if these are new lights, but I think they've kind of slightly tweaked them. And they added the leathers on the back, Dacha. So they wanted to create something new. I mean, all car brands are now using that. They're adding leathers to their cars. Now practical cargo space. Seats now down 60-40. There's a little five fingers of height here. And then there's a spare wheel. And then you can put this down below. Or at least I thought you could. Yeah, you could. And then you can get some extra five fingers there. Uh, two, four, hook. well, that's a Dacia. Moving on. Opening and closing sound. Not the greatest, but it's okay. You can push down here to lock for the kids. So they cannot open from the inside. Hard plastic, front and rear. Not automatic, but electronic. Basic seats here. Cloth on the... Hear the closing sound. Boop. So I can still hear the music outside. Not the greatest. Um, soundproof. Fubble outlet. No AC vents. Transmission tunnel isn't that tall. You can squeeze the third person. Seats are nice and comfy. Big and long windows. Good overview on the back. They try to... Add some space here, uh, no handles, so it is what it is, but the headspace is actually good. Two meter tall person or 6.6 in feet. I can straighten up my head. I am touching a little bit uh, with my hair, maybe back end is hitting, but I do have uh, enough headspace. You can see you can close this up or you can open it up for more light. And this is the view at the front, new Dacia leathers instead of a badge but uh, yeah let's get on the front funky door candles 
Well, cloth here, textile. You can lock the rear, power windows, speaker there, step where in plastic, manual seats. You can push this to slide back and forward, up and down, tilt, no lumbar. You can adjust the headlights. The air steering column is manual. Seats are quite basic, big bolsters on the top. And you can pop the fuel down there if you can see it or not. Um, let's tilt actually a little bit backwards and show you the point of view. Uh, beautiful. Now, uh, this is a really popular car for a, a budget car, but uh, it looks better. They've uh, switched the screen to the top, of course, and vents are at the bottom. You have physical controls, physical AC controls. Have some air inside and you can see the new Dacia. Now, zooming back in. Now turn the AC because it's super hot inside. Maybe lower the temp. And yeah. So just a quick look at the steering wheel. You have a nice textured leather and you have a new Dacia symbol here. You have the cruise control. Uh, you have here, of course, the uh, small screen, you have uh, needles and uh, analog gauges. This is soft, hard plastic, you have a speaker there. Uh, in the stepway, you get the adjustable uh, phone mount. So you can have it like this, this, and you can turn it to this side. Uh, it's good for taxiing. You have a USB A to charge your phone there. You have another one for fast charging, actually. So yeah, this one's for fast charging, this one's for media. Uh, but checking the screen. It's nice. Uh, I'm gonna turn it on for short immediately. Um, it's very basic. Uh, you have here navigation, uh, solid vehicle information, and so on. Very basic. I'm not gonna go through it. Uh, lock, unlock, start, stop button. Of course, your wiper and light controls. And here is for your volume and radio stations. Lock, unlock from the inside, hazards, you cannot see them through the uh, windows from your driver position. Auto start, step off, you can see the airbag information, echo, that reduces your power. That's really not really sure why it's there. And over here, you can control the fan speed. It's nice physical controls uh, from Renault Clio. Over here, you have a seat full outlet and the USB that I mentioned. There's a little area there, 6 p manual, a long gears, not my favorite, uh, push up in first gear for reverse, in that case you can see the camera and the backing there. Uh, okay then, uh, so definitely this was not supposed to be on uh, because of that little thing uh, that you saw below, the cars are in demo car show mode. Uh, you can open here the roof. Oh, there we go. You can see that. Oh, it actually retracts in the shade and then it takes it out as well. Okay. Let's see, let's see here. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Um, whatever. And we have an electronic parking brake. Uh, cup holders are there. You could put your wireless key there. Battery inside is low. This is like semi soft. And there's a little compartment there. Slamming uh, glove compartment, big and huge space there. Uh, front, enough bedroom despite the uh, pattern roof. Now I'm trying to be a little bit fast here. Uh, honestly, working all day, tired. Um, and over here you can see good overview for the rear. Um, there, yeah, you can do this. So it's supposed to be like this and then you can like flip it if someone's blinding you from the rear. Uh, and you can see the light switch, emergency calls, some sort of uh, micro sensor. I think this is a actually like for the Bluetooth phone calls, but I, I, I haven't honestly figured out what this is. Documents holder, and over here you have the price mirror. Uh, this unfortunately does not extend, so this small area is not covered, but actually not that bad. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, there's a little message, uh, SOS call, like, uh, are you sure you rested by accident? Yeah, that's it. Um, just switch this AC off. You just do this, it goes off. And let's uh, pop the bonnet so you can see 
You can see the petrol engine is there. Uh, I would say this is a three cylinder. Uh, wash fluid is over there in black. And don't wash your engine bay. You have to use your little leg on the top. So let's check the spec and wrap it up here. Uh, hopefully I won't get a copyright strike with this stupid loud music on the top. So there we go. It's supposed to be, uh, the title wasn't translated, new uh, Samdera Stepway Experience TCE 110. Uh, khaki green color, awful name for a color. Uh, so it's a six speed manual. They didn't write the uh, horsepower. I think it's 110 and 16,650 euros. That's a bargain for a car these days. Uh, these are the wheels. You can spec alloys or steel wheels, colors. You can see the different colors and car dimensions. And you saw the gallery. So tell me in the comments below how you like the new Sendero Stepway. And if you want to see something more serious from Paris Auto Show, subscribe to the channel and check the channel out. See you in the next one. Bye.